What's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a good day. Before we get to today's topic, I want to talk quickly about yesterday's topic, which was pretty much me asking you if I should trade the Platinum in for a 2020 Tundra because uh, the lease is going to be up in a year and they start bothering you about trading in early when you're in your last year of your lease. Um, and you guys, pretty much 99.9% .9 of you said, absolutely not, don't trade that Tundra in, keep the Platinum. Now, like I said, I was leaving it completely up to you, but that's exactly what I wanted. I've done all this work to this Platinum. Um, this isn't the truck that I started the channel with, but it's the truck I had since pretty much the first year mark. And we've built so much with this Tundra, and I've done so many things to it, and I have a bunch of things coming up to it, a couple installs and things like that. And I just, you know, I don't, I try very hard not to have sentimental value in vehicles because, you know, I like to trade out every now and again. But this one I have a lot of sentimental value in because I feel like me and this truck built this channel together. So we are definitely keeping the Platinum. Um, when the time comes and the lease is about to be up and I extend and actually buy the truck, I will let you know how the process goes. If you guys have any questions about, you know, I talked about this yesterday too, about leasing or... You know, people were giving me a lot of crap because I modified a leased vehicle. But what I was trying to say to people is um, I've done it before. Okay, I just don't let it go to lease end. I don't turn it in and say, oh, here are the keys. It's your truck back. What I do is I have the dealer buy it back um, or, you know, I'll trade the vehicle in. Not necessarily, hey, the lease is over here, are the keys, because as you know, they walk around the vehicle and find everything that potentially you modified or is wrong with it. So I just have the dealer buy it back. There's always a lot of value in Tundras, so that's kind of what I do. There's a whole system with that. Like I said, if you want me to make a video on what I usually do if I get a lease and, you know, I'll make a video. Anyway, so let's get on to today's topic. So the other day, TRD was celebrating their 40th anniversary, okay, and they did a one-day 40% off TRD parts. It was select TRD parts, uh, but I took advantage of it. And I also want to hear how you guys did with it. But I'll be honest with you. When I heard about the TRD sale, I kind of was like, okay, they'll have 40% off the stuff nobody really wants and nobody cares about. I was wrong. When I went on to the website, I used parts.sparkstoyota.com. When I went on and looked around, they had a lot of stuff that people want, the intakes and everything like that. And, uh, I happened to find something that I've been looking for for a while and I went ahead and I purchased it. And what I got was the TRD dual exhaust system, but just the tailpipe kit with the black tips. That comes on the 2019 TRD Pro. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about or you haven't been around the channel in a while, I'm going to take you outside real quick and show you why I want to get a new tailpipe kit. So let's head out there. Okay, so here's why we're gonna replace the tailpipe kit. I don't know how well you're gonna pick it up on camera, but it is ugly. There's one side, and we swing around, and there's the other side, so it's time to go. Let me get you a, a little close up here so you can see what I'm talking about here. Now, as you can see, they're in pretty rough shape. So what I wanna do is I wanted to get a new tailpipe kit, and I'm going to paint the actual pipes black. Uh, like a heat resistant spray paint, something like that, uh, just so that doesn't happen again because I don't like that color that it gets, that, that rusty bronze. I'm not a fan of that. I feel like it throws the whole look off of the back of the truck. I want it to be just black all the way through. We will be good with that, but I got a crazy deal on it. I have it written down. So regularly, that uh, tailpipe kit is $429. I got it for $290 with shipping, so $290 out the door. So that's a great deal. I could not pass that up. Had to do it. I've been talking about doing some exhaust modifications for a while, so now I am finally uh, moving forward with it. Also, uh, most likely, I'm still on the fence about this. If you guys want to comment below and tell me what direction to go, let me let me know. Um, we've talked about doing the BA Muffler TRD Dual Exhaust System Replacement Kit, and that's pretty much the muffler section from BA Muffler. Um, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence if I want to do that or not, but I'll let you guys decide that one too. Let me know if I should get the BA muffler and then we'll do the entire install together. There will be a video. I've done the install of the TRD dual exhaust before I had the YouTube channel on my 2014. We did the whole thing with the dual exhaust in my driveway. So now that I have the channel, I will definitely be making a video of taking off the current system and putting on the new system. But you got to let me know if you want that BA muffler system as well, or should I keep the existing muffler TRD kit that's on there now and just replace the tailpipe kit. But yes, 
that is what I got. So I got a sweet deal on the 2019 TRD Pro TRD Dual Exhaust Tailpipe Kit with the black tips on it. And once again, we will be spray painting the rest of that kit, uh, some kind of heat resistant paint, all black. So we won't have to deal with that rusting at all. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. But I also want to know if you guys took advantage of that sale. And if so, what did you get? So comment below the video, Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great Saturday evening.